You often hear people, especially in music circles, reminiscing about the good old days. I've heard my peers discuss how they'd fit in more with a different generation. And while there are aspects of the music industry that have changed, some might say it for the worse, there are also some really amazing things about music today. That's what we're looking at here, the wonderful realities of today's music industry. This is a follow-up to my other video, The Harsh Realities of the Music Industry, which you can find by clicking the link up there or hitting the link in the description. When I hear people going on about how great things used to be, I feel like they're forgetting something. The entire history of recorded music is just a few clicks away. We take this for granted. I no longer need to sift through record upon record to find that rare release from my favorite band. I can get that within 15 seconds. On top, I can probably find bootlegs, videos, and other really interesting things that I never would have come across were it not for the internet. This to me is truly amazing. I understand that experiencing those events live and feeling the real-time cultural implications is different than revisiting them. But there's also great things happening in music right now if you're willing to go and find them. Because no matter what music you like or create, there's an audience for your niche. The world is big, there's a lot of different people in it. And no matter how weird you think you may be, there's someone out there who likes the same things you do. In major cities, you can find almost all types of music. I live in a city of 700,000 people right in the middle of a frozen field, smack dab in the heart of Canada. It's not exactly a musical hubbub, but there are a few types of music that I couldn't find if I wanted to. Whether you like traditional blues or Korean pop music, the internet has made it easy for these communities to thrive and connect. If you make music yourself, there's a place for you. There's an audience waiting. And there's never been an easier time than now to introduce yourself to them. See, the barriers between you and an audience are few. Think about what went into getting music into strangers' hands before the internet. You needed to go to a recording studio, which was expensive, likely needing the funding of a record label. To get the backing of the label, you need someone to discover you. From there, you'd need to get your recording approved by your label, manufactured, promoted, sent to radio stations, and so on. There are a lot of working parts here, and a lot of people need to believe in your art. With recording software and hardware being affordable, let's look at what that process looks like today. Write a song, record it, post it to your fans. When I made that video about that infamous Nick Jonas solo, it took me a couple hours to produce it and I released it the next morning. By dinner time that night, it had reached over 100,000 people. This instant connection with an audience is entirely new and it puts the power back in the hands of people like me and you. If you can make something truly great, it will share itself. You don't need the music industry suits anymore. This has also created a growing musical middle class. Music for a long time has largely been a winner takes all economy. You either were a starving artist or you made it big. While now there are a lot more people who are able to create a small business for their art. Since we have direct access to our fans, we don't need record labels, managers, radio trackers, and the like sticking their hands in the pie. We can independently cultivate a moderately sized fan base, and with creativity, we can monetize that audience. There are new revenue streams today that never used to exist. Someone like me doing what I do doesn't exist in any other era. Fans can fund my career in a much more direct way than say buying my record at Walmart. Crowdfunding through Patreon, Skype lessons across the globe, session work on Fiverr, sponsored content on YouTube. These kind of things are unique to this day and age. They also don't require anyone but you to make them happen. I said it before, it puts the power back into the hands of people like you and me. You're not limited to whatever the radio or MTV is pushing. You are a decision maker with a voice now. One fan can have a huge impact on the career of someone like me. This shift in power is still taking place and hasn't fully settled in. But if you're creative and savvy, you have a huge leg up over most people in the music industry. It can be quite shocking and fairly annoying how out of touch many people in this business are. It's understandable though, for a long time things worked one way and then suddenly everything got flipped on its head. So many of the higher ups only know the way it used to be and are grasping at the remnants of what they knew. I could go on and on with examples where I've seen this, but that's a rant for another day. The good news is, if you're looking towards the future, not the past, you have an advantage over the majority. This won't last forever, we're still in a transition phase. Soon the old guard will retire, making place for new savvy young entrepreneurs. There is nothing stopping you from being one of them. As musicians, we need to be thinking about this business side, as well as countless other little things. It's much more profitable for a small business if we don't need to outsource graphic design, video editing, web design, and things like that. Learning to do this can be a bit overwhelming, but the good news is there are countless free resources available to us. Honestly, is there any problem I can't fix by looking it up on Google? If I want to learn how to use Pro Tools better, there are countless videos and tutorials. There's no need to go out anymore, pay for a class, or buy a book to learn some of the tools we need to cut these costs. 
costs. The age of information has made it easier for us to stand on the shoulders of giants who came before us. In conclusion to this two-part series, the more you look for it, the more you see the principle of yin and yang. No matter what, there's always going to be advantages and disadvantages. We just need to find ways to make it work for us. I hope you found these videos enjoyable. You can find the other part by clicking on me or hitting that link down there in the description. Keep in mind that I'm only one guy with certain biases based on my experiences. What you may perceive may be totally different and I'm more than happy to hear from you down in the comment section. I'm Samurai Guitarist, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.